Good morning, beautiful souls, wherever in the world uh, you may be. Um, so I've needed to do another video for a while now because if you are a regular uh, follower, fan of whatever it is that I'm doing here, uh, you probably know that the last time I did a video was about a year ago and I was wearing glasses, I had no uh, face fungus, uh, it was a completely different Anton. I think I've gone through so many versions in the last uh, in the last two years that I don't even know what version I am right now. I'm sure many of you have uh, have done the same. It's uh, it's a time, it's a beautiful time of, uh, of transformation uh, and for people who uh, are willing to do the work, are willing to confront uh, some unintegrated parts of themselves. Uh, uh, and I mean, everyone's going to have to do the work. It's just you can make the process a lot easier on yourself. It's it's like when you go swimming. Do you do you relax and let the water carry you, or do you fight against the current? Uh, I think the current's going to win uh, uh, eventually, anyway, because you're going to run out of energy, um, including mental energy. So uh, yeah. So basically, uh, today is is a start of Mercury uh, Gatorade uh, <laughs> retrograde. Um, which basically means uh, it's a time to um, it's a time to reassess your relationship with uh, with yourself. Are you honouring everything that you know you uh, you should be doing? Are you doing your uh, your shadow work? Are you doing your inner child work, uh, or are you uh, distracted? Are you escaping? Are you um, yeah? You, and basically. You, m Everyone has something to work on. Everyone um, is, yeah, is, is escaping, is distracting from something, including myself. Oh my God, yeah, I've got so many things to work on, which is why I came, uh, I came to Costa Rica because uh, Europe right now is going through a huge, huge purge and it's go it has been doing it for the last two years. And people have been avoiding and escaping it and you know, going through the motions, going through their habits. Uh, I was like, no, I'm gonna need to still to go to work. I still need to earn money. Uh, if that's what you believe you need, then uh, yeah, go go ahead and do it. But for me, um, this inner inner work has always been uh, number one priority. Um, but it's also important to see are, are your actions aligned with um, with your thoughts uh, because we all know what we need to do we all know we need to exercise more we all know we need to uh, uh, you know reassess our relationship with our food and our diet and uh, of you know any relationship really uh, relationship with ourselves relationship with uh, partners, family members, but are you actually doing it? Um, like Christmas was probably an amazing time because Christmas always uh, um, reveals uh, a lot of unintegrated parts uh, in people. Your parents or people close to you will always uh, call you out on, on on things, and then it's up to you. It's like, is their criticism valid? And if it's not valid, you can you know take take. Uh, brush it off with a smile and if it is valid deep down you'll know and you're like yeah you know what maybe I was a little bit rude or maybe uh, I was a little bit arrogant or angry or wh whatever it is it's not it's not a uh, maybe criticism is, is the wrong is the wrong word um, if it's coming from a place of love, if their intention is loving, um, then it's it's up to you how you interpret um, how you interpret their words. Anyways, I'm babbling a little bit because yes, Mercury uh, Gatorade uh, will is starting today and it's going to go on until for the next three weeks. Um, it's never been a better time to reassess. Um, uh, it's never been a better time to cleanse your auric, your energy field. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a good time to step away from technology. It's a good time to step away from social media. And this is what, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next, uh, well, I'm going to try and do it for the next uh, few weeks. Uh, because it's just not natural to be bombarded by the thoughts of uh, thousands and thousands of other people. Um, and also those thoughts are influenced by you know billionaires and power hungry corporations uh, so how could you possibly know yourself if you're constantly focused on the external uh, all the answers everything that you seek is here uh, i can't give it to you because your situation is completely different every soul is in a completely different level of their spiritual development um, 
some like your parents for example they might still be children like in terms of soul levels if you're attracted to uh, words such as you know the divine blissful ecstasy of the divine uh, uh, god is love you know all these kind of like things that sound very very uh, woke and uh, almost esoteric it's if, if you're naturally drawn to those things uh, you, you're probably an old soul you probably have done so many lessons in your past lives and on other planets and stuff and um that's beside the point um so what, what basically yeah what i wanted to do is uh, th this is kind of like my promise i'm doing this for me if you watch it and you get some benefit out of this you know god bless you and thank you for all the positive messages that i receive uh, the positive messages of support uh, uh, like i i, I I, I try to reply to everyone, but sometimes I get like, you know, 30, 40 messages a week and it's just not, not possible. Like I said, my, my time is, is, is very, very important to me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be putting up some boundaries. I'm going to be putting up what I, uh, what kind of energy I allow into my, into my space. Um, a lot of the things I talk about will go over people's heads. A lot of things I talk about will trigger people, uh, especially if they have um, calcified pineal glands. So your pineal gland, um, uh, you should look into, on, go on YouTube and put in Manly P. Hall, uh, The Mystery of the Pineal Gland. It's just an absolutely incredible video um, about the gland that we have inside, inside, inside our brains. And basically, you can call it your, uh, your third eye, and that's what connects you to, um, to spirit and opens you up with um, psychic abilities and intuition. And every single person will have something different. That's the beauty of it. Every single person, like when, I don't know if you've ever taken any psychic psychedelics um, but every single person is having a different completely different trip and yet at the same time it all kind of works uh, so yeah so some people will have their pineal glands calcified so everything that you say uh, it just will just go over their heads they probably will think you're crazy but it, it, deep down you'll know you, you have to honor your intuition you have to honor your truth you have to honor everything that comes uh, comes up in the moment um, you have to speak your truth, which is why what I've been doing over the last, uh, I don't know, however many years, I, like I've always been like this. I've always posted all this stuff and I thought I was a little bit crazy as well. I was like, I'll never fit into this uh, society. And I was like, yeah, I'm not supposed to fit into this society. I'm supposed to go and hopefully build a new one. That's I, I have my five year plan. Don't worry about it. Um, but it's quite beautiful. Like what I want you to do is as you watch this, I want you to uh, be completely present. Um, so the Buddhists call this a state of. I'm not even sure if it's a state. Uh, it's just like it's 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 they call it sunyata, which is, uh, I mean, literally translated is called emptiness. But it's actually spaciousness. It's this spaciousness. It's this everything that um, you know musicians know about this. You know, it's it's the emptiness between the notes uh, it, that makes uh, that makes the music. It's like yeah, you can build this house, but it's the emptiness inside the house house that um, that makes it livable um, so yeah uh, well, I'm waffling I like this is incredible because for the last uh, four years I have been working on my heart chakra uh, if not longer so your heart chakra is uh, the bridge that connects you to the, between the spirits between the ethereal the yeah the ethereal world uh, and the the physical world um, and most people, they live in the first three chakras. So the first chakra is survival, it's, it's safety, it's survival, it's just the carnal needs of, uh, of a human being. Uh, so if you always find yourself just like, oh, I need to pay rent, I need money, I need... Da, 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 you're probably just like in the lowest, lowest uh, uh, chakra. Uh, then you have your sensual needs, your pleasure, you have your career, that's like your three, I think it's, I'm not sure what the third one is, it's, it's like your career, your, your fulfillment, um, so yeah, like ninety percent of people, ninety-nine percent of people, however many, I don't know the percentage, doesn't matter, uh, live in those three chakras. Uh, so when I talk about this stuff, already I know some people will just be will laugh, they will mock, they will. Uh, um, it's because they're not connected to those parts. How can you know those parts if you yourself um, haven't connected to them? And once the heart chakra opens up, oh my God! When you operate from this heart space, you're almost like. Um, floating through life um, uh, you, you see things like uh, 
um, everything starts glistening, I guess. Uh, but that's just that's just the you know just your visual stimulus. Uh, you see, you see people as souls. You see people as so beautiful and so loving, and the, e each one is here as this divine creation of uh, of God. Uh, you know, fulfilling its, its 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 soul purpose, and it's like a a beautiful dance. Uh, and again, look, I am waffling now because um, I am working on my throat chakra at the moment, and for the last uh, for the last year, and throat chakra is all about. Uh, speaking your truth and being responsible for the consequences of speaking uh, speaking your truth. Uh, it's uh, standing up for yourself. It is honouring um, whatever comes up, uh, which is also why I'm wearing blue today. I, I, like I've completely by accident, I like as soon as I sat down, I was like, oh look at this, I'm wearing blue. I've got some uh, blue uh, trousers on. I've got a blue top on. Uh, I think uh, it wants me to do this and. Uh, yeah, I'm learning languages at the moment. I have to learn Spanish. I'm reading the Bhagavad Gita um, at the moment. Always reread it and read it and read it. Um, and um, yeah, it's honouring honouring your truth. Uh, and I, yeah, I used to be quite a shy person. I came to uh, another country when I was quite young. I was living in a little bit of a racist uh, racist town. I was bullied a lot for being. From yeah, from a different country, I didn't speak the language. Um, so now it's amazing that I'm able to fully express myself and fully come into kind of like my uh, my lane. Um, so I wanted to basically just like the, I'm, again, I'm doing this for me. I am like I'm recording this and like eventually like I journal a lot. So this is like my journal, and then it's so fascinating to read your journal entries or watch the, the stage that you were at previously and you're like oh yeah of course like i can see the progress i can see uh, oh this is what i was worried about then and like now that's a totally a a, a non-issue um so what else yes yeah, so yeah mercury gatorade retrograde um uh, do your shadow work uh, if, if you if you're completely honest with yourself uh, this will be a very beautiful calm process you it'll be like cosmic medicine almost uh, if if you're fighting it uh, well good luck uh, good luck fighting it but I'm just saying like always surrender always have faith that uh, whatever is coming up is for your um, your highest good um, I would like to have each soul um, to reassess their relationship with authority um, as the governments around the world are showing their cards um, they're going all in now they have nothing to hide just because the fraud uh, on a global scale like it's, it's getting exposed and the truth always comes to the surface like love truth always wins um, so you might as well be on the uh, on the right side of history but at the same time everything that's going on outside the buddhists call this maya uh, the, it's like the great illusion it's like a big play it's like a big theater production uh, and yeah when you read a book or when you watch a great um, when you watch a great film you get really really involved in it and you laugh and you cry with the actors uh, and then at the end of the play you know the the good guy and the bad guy they both come out onto the stage and they both bow and we all clap because they play their roles uh, roles beautifully um, it doesn't mean that there's no suffering it doesn't mean uh, that this isn't kind of like real um, on, on the physical on a physical level it's, uh, it is real uh, but once you start moving up once you start realizing we are not uh, just this physical body uh, with a spirit we are spirit we are pure pure infinite uh, loving uh, this spaciousness I was talking about spirit that just happens to uh, be going through a human a physical experience right now um, so yeah so I want you to um, re-examine the reality that you find yourselves in uh, because our thoughts create our reality so if you find yourself in a reality full of doubt and lack and fear and uh, whatnot that's you you're creating that reality um, can you hear that bird? Oh my god, I feel like I'm in a zoo. Honestly, I got woken up by a hummingbird the other day. There's eagles flying everywhere. Dogs are coming. I feel like a Disney princess or something. Um, 
so, so yeah, re-examine the reality uh, you find yourselves uh, you find yourselves in, uh, because no one's coming to save you. <laughs> Uh, if you feel like you're in a prison, it's because you are, your own mental prison. Uh, so if you want to get out of it, if you want to get out of this labyrinth that you created, you have to do, uh, you have to do the work. Um, so it's very important to, uh, again, like I said, switch off from the collect collective narrative that you're buying into. You're giving away your power to all these external uh, sources uh, such as doctors. Like, wh why should a doctor look after your health? He doesn't know you. He, you've been in your body for however many years. You know your body. Are you in touch with your body? Because your body will always tell you when there's kind of imbalance or something that you need to work on. Are you honoring that thing that's coming up? Uh, like if your shoulder hurts and instead of like moaning about it I was like okay I'm gonna go do some yoga I'm gonna look up some poses there's a pose in yoga for every single ailment including a mental ailment uh, but it, it, like is your mind right now going no that's not true I don't want to do this or are you like okay yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna look into maybe Anton uh, maybe Anton is right so yeah, you're giving away your, your power, you, you create, you, 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 external things are constructing your reality. Doctors are telling you that you're sick, politicians are telling you there's a pandemic. Where is the pandemic? I've been traveling for the last two years, uh, I've been to, I don't know, so many countries. I probably had one of the best years of my life. It's not to show off, it's just like I literally went just to see, is this real? Is this actually happening? Or is this just a reality that they are putting in front of us every single morning? Do you wake up and you, you, know, you get your phone and straight away you're bombarded by this thing? And you have to realize as soon as you wake up, that's the best time to program your mind. Uh, so you, what are you programming your mind to do as soon as you wake up? Are you saying, oh, I'm gonna have an amazing day, it's gonna be full of opportunities and I'm gonna be trying to be loving and I'm gonna give myself some beautiful food. Um, I've just been uh, getting through my uh, plantains, um, climbing trees, like talking to nature, um, cleaning your, your house or just cleaning yourself is amazing so when you're showering are you are you taking the time to shower are you treating it uh, ceremonially um, uh, instead of just like oh, I, need to, I need to shower because I need to do this I need to do this I need to do this it's like no right now I am showering right now I am honoring I have the opportunities how many people don't even have the opportunity to have fresh water uh, and you're cleaning your body you're, 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 you're actually like massaging your body you're talking to your body um, you're, you're cleaning your house. It's just like it's not cleaning. It's like oh, this is something that I have to do. Uh, uh, just watch those thoughts. Watch how they construct your realities. Like yeah, I used to be lazy as well, but now I'm like I'm actually looking forward to cleaning my house because I know I'm. Uh, I, I know the word is feng shui, and there is another word um, in, in in Sanskrit that I sent to my friend Annabelle the other day, and I forgot what it is. But it's basically it's a very ancient science of energy and how energy. Uh, moves and like rests especially in, in your house if you spend how many like maybe half of your life in that house why wouldn't you make sure that the energy in that house is calm and flowing and uh, clean um, just make sure you turn off your your Wi-Fi at night because imagine that's all going through you as well like you we are all vibrations so all these vibrations are going through your body while you sleep uh, are you to like turn off things from their plugs put your phone on airplane mode don't even have your phone next to you when you sleep get a little alarm clock or something don't have your laptop next to you um, yeah all these things are going going through you and you, you think it doesn't have an influence you think it doesn't like sometimes people wake up wake up in the middle of the night and it's like why and it's like well, um, what else did I want to say? Yeah, like if, if you want to look into astral projection, if you want to look into lucid dreaming, if you want to control your dream, if you want to like go into that space, um, then you're going to have to yeah cleanse your aura. So Mercury retrograde is a perfect time for the next three weeks to observe, observe the reality that, uh, that you find yourselves in. Observe how you give away power to external uh, authorities. Like I said, doctors, politicians, social media companies. Mark, is, do you think Mark Zuckerberg is your friend? <laughs> do you think this metaverse that they're constructing is going to be like, I don't even want to go into the metaverse now. That's going to be... Uh, uh, for for another video, um, it's just like examine the, the things that create fear in your life. Uh, this is a very very important question. So if you made it this far, then it's twenty minutes. So thank you for giving me twenty minutes of your day. Um, 
Uh, yes, so e examine the, um, what are you most afraid of losing in your life? Um, so the Stoics, uh, the ancient Greeks, uh, actually said every morning practice uh, what would happen if you lost everything in your life? Well, because eventually you will. The people you love will pass away, like the, probably the home will collapse, your body will deteriorate. And yeah, I, I remember I posted something on Facebook about, um, about this and many, many people started attacking me. It's just like the word deteriorate, it triggered something in them. They don't want to deal with it. But it's, it's a natural process, but you can make it very harmonious. Like if, if, you, if you know, if once you experience the soul, once you kind of go to, into these higher realms, you, you're not worried about that body. But if all you know is this, then of course you're going to be like, uh, like literally like this, like most, most of your day, rather than being open and receiving, you know, divine blessings um, all the time. Um, so yeah, so I'm cleaning my energetic boundaries. Boundaries is just one of the highest forms of um, of self love that you can uh, that you can um, participate in, because you you know what you need and you know if someone is coming into your space uh, with you know negative intentions. Um, d -d -d -um, yeah, cleanse your cleanse your aura, because um, your thoughts uh, your thoughts it's like a filter. So if your filter, again, is just like based on fear and worry and judgment and whatnot, then all your thoughts will pass through that filter. And because thoughts uh, can change matter, uh, your thoughts can literally change the reality that you're in. So that filter, like be very, very honest with the filter that you're viewing the, um, that you're viewing the world through. Um, like for example, I can, uh, um, like, yeah, just observe your mind. Just observe the waves of your mind, and each mind will be different. You'll have different patterns. You'll have different habits that is picked up over the last twenty years. And sometimes it's good just to, ha to have a bit of a detachment and to watch it like an external observer, and just to say, is this even true what I believe? Is this even true what I'm thinking? And a lot of the times you'll find that it's not. It's just a story that you you have repeated to yourself. Um, let's wait for the. Uh, yeah, it's just a story that you've been repeating to yourself over and over and over again, and then eventually, in in the in the realm of the mind, whatever you you believe to be true either is true or becomes true. So you you literally construct your own reality. We all live in uh, realities of our own construction. Um, so what kind of reality do you find yourself in? Like, be very honest over the next uh, over the next few weeks because. Uh, I guarantee you, I guarantee you so many things will start coming up on a global level, on a collective level, on an individual level. Uh, and then you have the, uh, yeah, the free will to decide how you uh, integrate and how you, uh, how you see those experiences. So a lot of people, especially when they do psychedelics, they're like, oh, I'm afraid of having a bad trip or I had a bad trip. Well, it's up to you how you interpret the the experience usually like these bad trips actually have a lot more to teach us about ourselves than um than we even know but uh, we want to label them as bad just because it was uncomfortable well, it wasn't bad it was just uh maybe necessary is the uh, is a better word um so, so yeah observe your mind for example i say fasting fasting is, is an incredible way to um to realize how habitual your life has become. You don't have to eat three or four times a day. You don't even have to have breakfast. I literally eat uh, fruits like the for the first, yeah, until 12 o'clock. All I have is uh, my water. Uh, so distilled water is even better just because um, they're putting loads and loads of chemicals into the uh, into the water, uh, which again calcify your pineal gland. Uh, they, these people they uh, they don't want you connecting to spirit. They don't want you to go within themselves. They want you to give your power to them because they have their system and that system needs energy to continue going uh, but once we all step back from that system uh, once we all like even things like taxes and money it's just like once more and more people start stepping away from it they have no power over you which is why protests don't work because you're protesting against uh, the very system that's never going to change itself uh, so uh, they want you protesting for a little bit um, 
protest. Yeah, you can have a peaceful protest. I'm protesting right now. I'm protesting by not even engaging with that system. Um, so yeah, so water uh, is very important. Fruits until 12 o'clock. Uh, less meats if, uh, if if you feel drawn towards that. You can even, if you don't have a distiller, you can um, charge your water. You can put your water on a windowsill or in front of the sun. Even if it's not like direct sunlight, the sun is always shining. Even if it's cloudy, even if it's in the UK, wherever you are, you know, it's, it's behind clouds. The energy the sun is giving out is always, always there. So um, you can even give it loving intention. So you can just like, like I said, your thoughts. So if you look at the, the water and you actually, with pure, pure uh, intention, like talk to it, like even in your mind, and it's like, oh, you're gonna be delicious. You're gonna be delicious water. Like you're gonna nourish me. And like, yeah, you talk to it. And uh, some of you might think uh, I'm crazy. Go ahead. That's your mind. That's the illusions that your mind is creating. Um, I, I know what state I'm in. I am pretty much blissful and happy 99% of the time. I'm not on social media most of the time. I go on there, I post, like when I get like a, a thought that I need to share, um, and I, I step away. I hardly look at people's like stories or sit there scrolling. Uh, so what else you can do? Um, yeah, the way you shower, the way you eat, everything ceremonial with intention, clean your house. Uh, yesterday was, uh, a I think, Bhakti, I don't know, Bhakti, um, Bo Bogi, Bogi Festival in India. It's for the next three days as well. Uh, and we were honoring the Lord uh, of the God, uh, Lord Indra, the God of, God of clouds and uh, rain. Uh, and I had him in my mind as I was cleaning. I'm like, I'm doing this for you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing this in your honor. I was chanting. I was dancing. I, as I was cleaning, I was dancing. I was singing. Uh, I was, yeah, I, was, I got high. I literally just got high on my own supply. And then I, I went for a little cycle in the evening and the skies were gorgeous. Oh my God. I mean, like, if you look at my stories, you can, like, it doesn't even tell half the story just because later on it was just like, uh, just the, the, the oversaturated pinks and reds and and I was just like oh my and, and I actually went and talked to like a local lady and I was just like are the skies normally like this and they're just like no there's just something about today and I was like oh see if you believe uh, then you'll be uh, you'll be blessed so yeah fast if you can just watch um, it's just even me talk about talking about fasting I know some people I've always had comments about my weight but I feel great. I feel great. I've always been skinny. It's like, well, like this is a societal kind of expectation that you should be a certain way. Uh, like guys going into gyms to look a certain way just because of insecurity. But that's not your thought. That's like, like God made you the way you are. On on, on of that. Um, so, so yeah, fast, fasting is an amazing, amazing way. The best time to, like, to do it is during the new moon uh, as well, the like best time to start doing it. So I think it's the 30th of January until, so sunset until 30th of January until uh, sunrise on the 1st of February. So if you want to give it a try, that's only a day. You can do a day without food. I mean, you know, have some tea, have some water and just observe, observe as all these things pop up for guys it's the same with like pornography you know we literally we, we have this screen in front of us and it's so easy just to you know you see uh, some half naked woman on on, a, on, an in, on Instagram and straight away the pleasure of pornography like that thought that's been conditioned into you for however many years pops up and you react to it uh, so discipline is very important spiritual discipline why don't you show why don't you show spirit how committed you are to the work? Because it knows your commitment, it knows your intentions, there's no hiding from it, because that spirit is, is literally you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I mean, some people ask me, what do I put on, like, what's my self-care ritual kind of thing? Like, cold showers? Do a cold shower. Um, like, again, your mind straight away goes, no, I can't, it's too cold. It's, 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 it's that thought that's uncomfortable. It's the thought that's uncomfortable. Doing it isn't actually that uncomfortable. Once you flick on that cold switch, you'll have a little shock, but eventually your body will be singing. Your body will be grateful that you gave it this, this thing. Uh, for face, uh, all I do is I use rose water. It's just pure rose water, and then you just go, oh, it smells incredible. You feel like a flower, you're blossoming. So you have your water, your rose water, your cold showers, um, toothpaste, uh, very important. So this is charcoal toothpaste. 
Uh, it has no fluoride in it, because, so basically your teeth are connected to your pineal gland as well. So if you have like lead or mercury fillings, you're cutting yourself off from spirit. If you're brushing your teeth with fluoride toothpaste, you're cutting yourself off from, from your higher self. If you're showering with that water, if you're washing your dishes, if you're washing your food with that water, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it all adds up, it all adds up. Everything you do, or like all these little chemicals, multiply that by you know, 20, 30 years, and uh, you get cancer. Like, it's, it's all worked out almost to, to precision. It's like such an evil, evil plan. Um, so precise, it's like you, you've spent your whole life uh, giving your energy away to this system. The system itself is killing you. Um, or not killing or killing you slowly so that when it's time to retire and collect that pension you get uh, health problems so you're, again you're reliant on the system you're reliant to go to the hospital and it's like oh but you know in the uk again the hospitals are free it's like nothing is free what do you like you know uh, you, you pay for it with your taxes you you paying for your own um for your own enslavement basically and then they're trying to privatize I know, I'm not gonna go into it right now uh, what else uh, so yeah this you can even have facial cream so this is uh, curcuma what is it in English curcuma it is uh, turmeric so turmeric face cream uh, it smells amazing it's got a little little Buddha on there um, and uh, yeah um, decalcify your pineal gland connect to your higher selves and see previously unseen doors um, open up um, and yeah that's 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 all I wanted to say that's <laughs> well that's not all I wanted to say I thought this was going to be a, a five minute video but I guess um, I guess yeah I needed a lot to say to uh, to myself so yes uh, welcome the Mercury Gatorade with uh, open arms uh, speak your truth uh, examine the ways that you're giving power away, uh, set your boundaries, give yourself more self-love, be kind, be loving. Uh, I had a few uh, lessons come up this week. <laughs> uh, I got scammed, oh, sorry, I got my Instagram hacked and I got the, the guy back, uh, I made him very angry. Uh, but, then, uh, but yeah, I, I had some lessons uh, going through this week. So, honor the process, guys, and Hopefully, uh, once I post this video, this will be the, the, the last thing I post for a few weeks. And if I haven't, then I wasn't disciplined enough, and that's fine. I'm not going to be too harsh on myself. I'm going to do whatever um, I need to do. You focus, you focus on your journey, and uh, you don't get distracted by the theatre of life and by other people's busy minds and realities. So, if you made it this far, it's uh, wow half an hour I've been talking for half an hour um, like I said it's great because I used to be a very 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 shy person I didn't even like I couldn't even speak English um, so yes uh, I hope you have a blissful uh, week ahead I'm gonna go do some meditation gonna do some breath work gonna read a book um, cause, yeah you don't have to sit there like meditating all the time you're just being present you're being in reality, you're being in the moment. Um, good luck, Zuckerberg. Good luck recreating this with all your haptic feedback suits and your virtual reality. Uh, reality is the greatest high ever. Like, it's reality is love. Reality is God. Um, so, good luck. Good luck, Zuckerberg, um, trying to recreate this. So, namaste. And uh, I love you all. Uh, even the people who sent me uh, very angry and divisive messages uh, that's you know the anger's with you it doesn't 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 bother me i'm just like yeah. i send you love love